Bonjour. As you all know, we are in the middle of a major overhaul and expansion of our convenience store sector across Latin America and Southern Europe. We are very excited to have received a 30 million euro loan from the European Bank of Restructuring and Development to fund our expansion into Georgia. Although Georgia is a small country, we recognize this as an opportunity to test our new CSR initiatives, capture uh, the market share in Southern Europe, and set the tone for CSR as we renovate across the world. In our following presentation, we would like to detail why we believe Georgia is the perfect country to test our new CSR initiatives. After speaking with our investor relations department and our supplier relations department, we've determined that we should open two food banks in major Georgian cities to, allow, to reduce the volatility that farmers have with the instability of providing the, for their own food with their own crop yield. By subscribing to a membership with our food banks, farmers will have access to a reliable source of food despite an unreliable crop yield. Afterwards, Carrefour will actually be able to partner with these local farmers, making them our commercial suppliers. Essentially, we'll be creating a supply chain with the CSR built into it. We want to be able to speak about this initiative on two levels. On a local level, we hope to promote goodwill within the community. We hope to promote goodwill within the community and generate interest in the local farmers by releasing articles in the local newspapers. On a global level, we hope to release a new web mini-series following our campaign, Feeding Georgia, so that our investors and shareholders will be able to follow through with us on this journey as the program progresses. This program should have no additional cost to our short-term budget because it will be able to be covered by our Euro expansion loan. Moving forward, if our food banks take root successfully, we would like to we would like to implement a water treatment program that Sharka will later talk about that will allow us to further enrich the land. Now Michael is going to speak a little bit about why CSR has reawakened, has more reawakened interest in the industry today and our targeted initiatives in Georgia. Thanks Vikas. We believe that CSR is important now more than ever. Upon joining Carrefour in 2012, Mr. Kaplasat completely revamped our CSR programs. He increased sales by 27%, exemplifying just how closely our success is related to that of our stakeholders. However, as you all may know, in our April shareholders meeting, our suppliers and investors voiced their concerns over our lack of CSR commitment in the past years. We believe that a CSR initiative in Georgia could be a step in the di right direction that we, that we need right now. Why would like uh, we do it right now as opposed to say um, a little bit later into the summer when the next crop rotation starts? Because we believe that the farmers right now, exactly since that there isn't a large crop rotation right now, they need food to support their families. So it'll be a good time to step in and help. Now, as you all may know, Mr. Plasat cannot be here today due to his recent surgery. We wish him all the best and happy and speedy recovery. Jerome, Pierre, as deputy CEOs, we hope you pass along our message to Mr. Plasat. We recommend opening two food banks in Georgia to support the farmers and to build a partnership with them as local suppliers. We have, had, we have worked with, collaborated with many food banks in the past, specifically in France and Spain, to alleviate the burden of poverty. We believe that this gives us ample experience in managing and dealing with food banks. After consulting our suppliers relations department, we have decided to emulate Tesco's centralized distribution model, which partners with local suppliers to create a supply chain. However, we plan on improving on their model by incentivizing these farmers to join us by giving them access to our food banks. We would like to open these food banks in Georgia's two largest farming communities, Tbilisi and Kutaisi. These towns are ideal not only because they house Georgia's farming community, because, but also because they are easily accessible for the transportation of produce. Now, the use of these food banks will be explicitly granted to farmers in need. We plan to stock these food banks with food and other excess supplies 
from our Georgian CAR4 locations. In our 2014 annual report, we noted that the average CAR4 hypermarket wastes 10 tons of food per year. That's enough to feed 200 Georgian farmers a week. Now, we plan to mitigate the communications gap between such a large multinational corporation like ourselves and the smaller, more local Georgian farmers by working closely with the Georgian, um, with the Georgian Farmers Labor Union. On one hand, we can build a strong, stable, and local supply chain, and on the other hand, local farmers will have the security, will have the food security that our food banks provide. Now, Aristo is going to talk about some of the agricultural problems that our recommendations hope to address. Thank you, Michael. Farming can be a bit uncertain at times. Georgian farmers in the past have struggled have struggled with the, the unreliable nature of agricult the agricultural industry. They have often only farmed small plots of land for their own personal use. In recent years, the, George, the Georgian agricultural industry has fallen from being 12.8% of their GDP to being just 8.3%. Yes? Since Georgia poses so many challenges with their land, and you already worked with food banks in France and I think Spain. Why all of a sudden the change to Georgia as opposed to just in, just improving what you already have in other countries? First of all, um, as we have been given the 30 million euro loan, that is one of our incentives to go into Georgia. And another reason why we want to go into Georgia is because Georgia to us seems like the perfect place to have our test market. It's not too large. So any loss, any possible losses will not affect us too much, and we will be able to support our food bank network in Georgia. Um, in, as the Georgian farmers have struggled with the volatility of their crop yield, we believe that our recommendation can provide a more sustainable and stable alternative to their current condition. And hopefully we'll be able to incentivize them to move from producing crops for their own personal use to more com commercial production as our suppliers. We believe that entering Georgia, we have the opportunity to gain great, greater control of, of the supply chain as we enter Georgia and the surrounding countries. Of course, entering a, entering a new market poses its own risks we will have to face possible pushback from the local retailers, something that our friends at Walmart are all too familiar with. And we will also sometimes have to face a lack of engagement from the local suppliers. However, we believe that by communicating our shared value to the community, they will be more open to our presence and our lobbying efforts with the Georgian government will go over more smoothly as the government and the community at large sees us as not only a foreign multinational, but they will see us as strong community leaders who are there to give shared value. They'll see us as who we are. Yes? The question with the lobbying effort, is it going to be uh, more of just giving like can maybe campaign donations, or is it going to be like face-to-face -face conversations with the politicians to build that personal connection? We believe that we will need to do a few face-to-face -face discussions with the politicians as later on Sharika will explain our efforts on water it would require great government cooperation as water is a national is a federal asset in Georgia. Now in our in our recommendation we see that communication is a very integral part because we need to communicate communicate all our efforts to our stakeholders. So we propose a two-pronged approach to our communication. First, we will communicate on a local level, and second, we will do it on a more global scale. Sharika will give you more details on our local communication efforts. Now, looking at this newspaper, you may think, this is an outdated form of media. What are we doing here? However, in a 2012 study, it was actually found that 62% of Georgians read the newspaper daily, as opposed to about 20% in France. Newspapers like Civil Georgia or the Georgian Messenger are truly one of the best ways that Georgians can stay informed. 
So free PR in the form of a front page article in a trusted local publication would be a fantastic way to get our message across to the community. Thank you, Shari. Furthermore, as we build relations with the local media in Georgia, we'll have better PR opportunities. And we can give and we can circulate Carrefour ads, not necessarily about our Carrefour products, but more about our CSR efforts, so the people really see what we are doing in Georgia. Secondly, on a global scale, we will use our strong media presence, strong social media presence, to keep our stakeholders, mainly our consumers, and more importantly, our shareholders up to date with our efforts in Georgia, both CSR and expansion. Through platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, we plan to launch a social media campaign through a web miniseries called Feeding Georgia. Through this web miniseries, people will, viewers will get a glimpse into the life of a Georgian farmer. We will support this web miniseries through our Twitter campaign by using hashtags such as hashtag feeding Georgia and hashtag Carrefour cares. As an example of our as an example of our global communication efforts, we might use a video on Facebook where we follow the life of a Georgian farmer, what he does on a day-to-day -day basis, and this will allow the viewers to see the farmers more as humans instead of just numbers. And now Sharika will give you the metrics that we will be using to measure the effectiveness of our recommendations. So after consulting various studies from Harvard Business Review, we found that many companies make the mistake of describing their CSR in terms of dollars spent or volunteer hours spent, but not truly in terms of impact. So when communicating our CSR policies to our stakeholders, we chose to use metrics such as number of farmers partnered with, tons of wastage reduced, and price reductions that may result from partnering with local suppliers. In terms of stakeholder engagement, we hope to focus on metrics such as views of our mini-series, number of hashtags used, and overall using Google Analytics across all of our platforms. Now, if our main uh, recommendation uh, is agreeable to you all and uh, achieves your approval and is then successfully managed, we believe that we can do even more in Georgia to help the community with further CSR initiatives and a further presence in the country. Yes? So how long, how long is your time frame for the short term and long term applications of the media cover, coverage with newspapers and social media? Right, well we think getting media coverage before we even begin this initiative is very important. Letting people know that Carrefour is expanding into convenience stores in your area and letting farmers know sort of on a grassroots guerrilla marketing level that we're interested in building supplier relationships. So I think media coverage would start even before we enter and then would ramp up um, as the initiative is actually put into place. So maybe anywhere up to like six months before, but that's of course like details we can all discuss later. Um, so as for a secondary recommendation, um, we recommend that Carrefour partner with a startup to create water treatment facilities across Georgia. We recommend partnering with Focus Water, a Turkish water treatment startup, and the Georgian government to help tackle this contamination issue across the country. Now, we're all very familiar with the fact that clean water is key for the communities we serve. As you all remember, in 2014, major French towns were hit with a contamination issue in their main water supply, and they turned to us, major hypermarkets, to ensure that they could buy fresh water. Um, we have talked extensively with our sustainability department, and they've recommended that we look at Target's water treatment program um, as something that we can emulate moving forward. Just as Target has partnered with startups in the past, we want to partner with Focus Water. Now, Focus is an ideal partner for two main reasons. First, they have deep knowledge and experience in the water treatment industry. And second of all, because of their proximity to Georgia in Turkey, they are intimately familiar with the country's long struggle of contamination issues. We would also like to partner with the Georgian government. As Aristo mentioned, um, they're gonna be a key player in this rollout because water management and supply are a federal responsibility. We hope that this program will have two overarching effects. First, 
to promote goodwill and positive sentiment in the community at large, and second, to even further our relationship with farmers as, um, further our relationship with farmers as we can provide them with a clean water supply. Um, now to communicate this program, as we previously outlined in our main recommendation, we would recommend a similar local global approach moving forward. Now Vikas will give some concluding remarks. Thank you, Sharga. As we start to expand into Georgia and really renovate across the world, we need to keep in mind the real world impact we're having on these communities and stray away from this sort of covering up CSR strategies that a lot of our competitors use right now. As Porter Kramer said in the Harvard Business Review, the sole driver of a company's success is based on the success of its stakeholders. By opening food banks for local farmers, we allow them to peacefully create crops without having to worry about when their next meal is going to be there. And if we do create these great relationships with the Georgian government and goodwill in the farmer community, we'll be able to not only, we'll be able to create a supply chain where the water is enriching the land, which is leading to a greater supply in crops, which actually is going to increase our own supply of crops because these farmers are now our commercial suppliers. Essentially, we're creating a business model that has built in CSR. This is the type of targeted strategy that we need to brand ourselves, especially with the new focus on us in France right now with the French law on wastage in um, large supermarkets. As we are headquartered in France, it's important to brand ourselves on our website, through our social media presence, and through our mini-series as a company that's taking into account market drivers, political drivers, and CSR drivers to implement targeted CSR initiatives so that we're not only killing one bird, not two birds, but three birds with one stone. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions or any suggestions for our initiatives, we would love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to shoot me an email after the presentation. Thank you.